Sound Design 4.1 Synth Clarinet. For this instrument, like the example in the book, we're going to use Tasman to put together our sound. So if you're looking at the steps in the book, again, that's Sound Design 4.1, select a subtractive based instrument that has at least one VCO and a low pass filter. Now, this is the same instrument that we d uh, created back in Chapter 1 for a video in that, uh, that section of the book. And it's already using a mono keyboard, so we're all set there. Um, if you do have a polyphonic keyboard that you're using for this, you either just want to take care that you don't play two notes at a time or set your keyboard in a mono mode, which uh, most instruments will allow you to do. So we've got a VCO uh, one set up here and we are in square wave setting. Now um, technically a square wave on most synths would be called a pulse wave because of the ability to shift that uh, that the duty cycle shift the middle portion of the wave and indeed with Tasman we can turn this pul pulse width control all the way to the right to get a square wave sound we can turn it all the way to the left and get a strong pulse wave uh, sound with with much different much more harsh uh, overtones in it so I'm going to take this back over to the square wave at least as a starting point and then I want to come over here to my volume envelope, which doesn't sound all that clarinet-like to me right now. It's got a very hard attack and a hard release. I'm just going to soften that a little bit. It's still a uh, clarinet is certainly capable of a real aggressive attack, but typically there's a little bit of a little bit of a fade in um, uh, as the sound is being produced through the reed. It's a little better. It's still clicking off. Let's give it a little bit of decay and take the sustain down to create a little bit of a little bit of a kind of transient bump at the beginning. That's pretty good. And then to get rid of the click, even if we turn up just a little bit of release, that'll get rid of the click for us. Alright, still doesn't really sound like a clarinet, but it's getting closer. The next step is going to be to go down here to the low pass filter and cut off the high frequencies until we get something that's a little bit closer to what we're looking for. That's starting to sound better. Let's add a little bit of resonance. getting better it's getting better so a few more things we might want to tweak here you may remember from the earlier chapters when we were looking at the uh, the frequency content of a clarinet it wasn't just a pure square wave so actually this resonance is helping add a little bit more grit to the sound we could also try easing off this uh, pulse width modulation or the pulse width rather a little bit more to introduce some more harmonic content to it and see if that gives us a little bit more of the, the sort of dirty um, grit quality that, uh, that you would hear in a real instrument. Not bad, so it's not going to fool anybody that it's not a real clarinet, but it's not a bad tone and it gives you a chance to play with a single oscillator uh, square wave a little bit and filters and uh, try to come up with something that sounds to you as close to a clarinet as, uh, as you would like. That's Sound Design 4.1.